New video released by Little Rock Police reveals what led up to one of their own asking for a sexual favor while on duty. Good evening. I'm Kevin Kelly. I'm Donna Terrell. Brandon Johnson has been relieved of duty. Late last month, he was charged with third degree sexual assault. Tonight, in dash cam footage Fox 16 just received, you hear the officer putting the woman in the back seat of his patrol car than joking with men about finding them a girlfriend. Fox 16's Mitch McCoy has been following the story for more than a month now. He's live in the newsroom with a closer look at what this video reveals. Mitch. Yeah, Kevin and Donna, good evening. That police officer has not had his badge or gun since being accused of asking for oral sex while working. He was put on paid leave the same day. It's important to note the alleged incident was not captured on camera, and we are only sharing bits and pieces of the 15 minute video with you while we protect the alleged victim by digitizing her voice. On September 25th, Little Rock police officer Brandon Johnson made his last call before being relieved of duty, accused of asking a woman for oral sex while on the job. He responded to a suspicious person call on Thomas Street near 9th Street. Why are you in this truck? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. The officer found the victim sleeping in a truck that didn't belong to her. The officer canceled his backup and can be heard telling the woman she's drunk and to get out of the truck. Get your crap, get out. I'm so crap. Get your crap and get out. The woman then got into the back seat of Johnson's patrol car. That's when the officer said this to a group of men watching everything unfold. Anybody want a girlfriend for the night? Johnson can be heard following department protocol, telling dispatch he's giving someone a lift. 42. Go ahead. 1019 on the 1012, my location, the third and Bender. Get module 17109. A half mile later, Johnson pulls into a church parking lot, tells dispatch he's dropping the woman off. That's when he turns his department issued microphone off, but can be heard telling the woman to get out of the car. Investigators say the woman did not feel forced to perform oral sex, but did because Johnson is a police officer. According to court documents, there is DNA evidence. We reached out to Johnson. He did not want to comment because it's an ongoing case. Mm -hmm. Donna? Wow. You know, I know there are parts of this video that we can't really talk about and that we don't even see, but is there anything else in the video that you want viewers to know about? Yeah, it, it, the, the, the police officer asked that the, the alleged victim in this to uh, get in the backseat of his patrol car to give her a ride home. He gave, uh, or she gave him, an area to drop uh, her off, and that is where the patrol car rolls up into a, a church parking lot. It's st uh, the cars parked there for several minutes, uh, and, and but it's important to note that that, that officer was called there because this woman uh, was apparently drunk in the back seat of, of a truck that uh, she did not know who the owner was. Wow. Okay. All right. Mitch, thank you. Mm -hmm.